The Walking Dead is an episodic, graphic adventure video game series developed and published by Telltale Games, based on the Walking Dead comic book series. First released in April 2012, the series currently spans three main five-episode seasons, an additional episode as downloadable content, and a mini three-episode season, with plans to release a fourth and final season in 2018. The games have been released to personal computers, game consoles, and mobile devices and have had both digital and physical releases. The series, like the comic, starts with an epidemic that turns the dead into zombie-like walkers that decimates civilization, and takes place along the United States' eastern seaboard. The series has focused on the character of Clementine, a young girl found alone by Lee Everett at the start of the epidemic. Lee helps teach Clementine how to survive in the chaotic world, and sacrifices himself to try to reunite Clementine with her parents. Clementine continues to travel with other survivor groups for several years, eventually becoming the adoptive parent of the infant Alvin Jr. AJ, when his parents are killed. She has a run-in with a survival group known as the New Frontier that strips AJ from her, and she works with Javier Garcia to help rescue his family from the New Frontier and learns where AJ has been taken and makes plans to rescue him. Some of the characters from the comic series, such as Sean Green, Glenn Ree, Herschel Green, Michonne, Sadiq and Paul Jesus Monroe, have appeared during the video game series. The games in the Walking Dead series eschew typical puzzles and exploration found in most adventure games and instead offer a stronger narrative and interaction with other characters. The game mixes such scenes with more action-oriented ones based on quick-time events to elicit excitement during the games. Telltale introduced the feature of having numerous determinants that could result from the player's choices, such as which of two characters to save during an attack, that influenced the story in later episodes and seasons, and the company has used this aspect of player choice in its future adventure games. The series has been praised for its strong narratives and impact of player choices. The first season was particularly noted as having been considered as revitalizing the waning adventure game genre, which had been languishing since around 2000. Topic. Concept The Walking Dead series is based on the comic series of the same name. The game's events run concurrently to the comic, starting at the onset of a zombie apocalypse, where dead humans have become undead walkers that feed on the living which quickly overwhelmed most of the population. As established in the comic and show, this is a result of a virus that all living humans possess that takes over the brain of the body once the person dies, and the only way to stop this is to destroy the brain. The game series initially starts in Georgia, with the whole of the first season and the events of 400 Days content taking place within the state. The second series follows the protagonists as they move north along the United States' eastern seaboard, believing there to be a human encampment in the north as well as the colder temperatures slowing the walker's speed. <laughs> Gameplay The Walking Dead games follow the same point-and-click adventure game approach that other Telltale Games' episodic series have followed. Within an episode, the player controls a protagonist as the story progresses through several scenes. Within a scene, the player can move the character to explore the area, examine items, and initiate conversation trees with non-player characters. In these dialogues, the player has the option of selecting a number of options to reply to characters, including the option to stay silent. Other scenes are based on cinematic elements using quick-time events in which the player must hit a controller button or a keyboard command as indicated on screen to react to an event. Failure to do so in time can lead to the character's death or other undesirable ending, and the game will restart just prior to these scenes. All choices made by the player in The Walking Dead are tracked by the game, and certain choices determinants will influence later scenes across the episodes and the series to date, when the player continues from the same saved game state. For example, in the first episode of the first season, the player has an option to save one of two non-player characters from a walker attack, the other character is killed, while the surviving character will uniquely impact other aspects of the story. Other times, selection of certain dialogue options will influence the attitude of a non-player character towards the protagonist, and can manifest in later scenes as providing additional options for the player to select from. 
Telltale Games tracks these decisions, including five main choices made during the course of each episode, allowing players to compare their choices to others. Series overview Season 1 At the onset of the zombie apocalypse, Lee Everett rescues young Clementine whose parents had traveled to Savannah prior to the apocalypse. They join with other survivors in Macon, Georgia to protect themselves from the undead, taking shelter in a defensible motel. When their position is overrun by both walkers and scavengers, the group flees and heads towards Savannah hoping to find boats to flee the mainland. Lee promises to reunite Clementine with her parents while teaching her rules of survival in this new world. In Savannah, they find no boats, and a strange man communicating to Clementine via walkie-talkie. When Clementine goes missing, Lee in his panic searching is accidentally bitten by a walker. With his time short, Lee assures the safety of the remaining survivors and goes to rescue Clementine, held by a man who has blamed Lee directly for the death of his family. Lee and Clementine overwhelm the man, and as they escape, they witness Clementine's parents, who have already become walkers. Clementine drags a weakening Lee to a safe location, and Lee, in his final moments of rationality, directs her to find the other survivors, before telling her to kill him or leave him before he fully becomes a walker. Topic: 400 Days, 2013. 400 Days is a downloadable special episode. It focuses on five different protagonists and it serves as a bridge between Season 1 and Season 2. In the final scene, the survivors of each story are offered to be taken into a safe camp. Topic. Season 2 More than a year after the first game, Clementine is separated from the other survivors and forced to fend on her own. She meets up with another group that are attempting to flee a man named Carver, who runs the human survivor camp at a strip mall, as alluded to in 400 Days. Clementine learns Carver seeks to capture Rebecca believing her to be carrying his child while she insists it is her husband Alvin's. They come into another group, discovering that Kenny, one of the survivors that Clementine traveled with from the first season and who had lost his wife and son to walkers, has managed to survive. In the midst of a walker attack, they are captured by Carver. Learning that a massive walker horde is approaching the strip mall and will readily overrun it, the group manages to escape with other prisoners, killing Carver in the process after he kills Alvin. During their escape, a woman that Kenny had taken a romantic interest in is bitten by a walker, forcing Clementine to intercede to kill her before she can turn, angering Kenny. As they regroup, Clementine becomes close to Jane, a loner that was part of the prisoners at Carver's camp and who teaches Clementine survival skills. Later, Rebecca dies after giving birth to a child, which they name Alvin Jr. AJ. As winter sets in, Jane and Kenny become hostile towards each other, and Kenny's distrust of the group leads to a fraction of them fleeing from Kenny, Jane, Clementine, and Alvin Jr. Jane forces Clementine to see what Kenny has become from witnessing the deaths of his loved ones by faking the death of Alvin Jr., and Clementine is forced to intercede, killing one of them and opting to continue with the other while overseeing to Alvin Jr. herself. Topic. Michonne 2016. In June 2015, Telltale announced a three-episode series The Walking Dead, Michonne. The miniseries released on February 23, 2016 for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, February 25, 2016 for iOS and Android, and March 1, 2016 for PC, and serves as a tie-in between the first two The Walking Dead seasons developed by Telltale. The series mostly focuses on Michonne's untold story on what took Michonne away from Rick, Ezekiel, and the rest of Rick Grimes' trusted group and what brought her back. Samira Wiley voiced Michonne in the game. The miniseries was originally scheduled to be released as downloadable content for Season 2. However, in December 2015, Telltale announced that the game would be released as a standalone title that would not require any previous game in the series to play. Topic. Season 3, A New Frontier 
The third season of The Walking Dead launched with two episodes on December 20, 2016. The season plans to tie in all the possible endings from previous seasons without compromising the story to avoid pushing away new players to the series. In an interview with IGN, Kirkman stated that the third season would bring the video game closer to the comic book's time frame. It takes place a few years after the second season, and includes a somewhat older Clementine along with AJ, the infant she rescues at the end of season two who is now a toddler. Clementine is a playable character along with a new character, Javier. A new frontier uses the updated Telltale tool, the same game engine Telltale used for Batman, the Telltale series. During the 2016 PAX Expo, Telltale revealed the third season will be released in November 2016, with the subtitle, A New Frontier. Telltale later had to delay the first episode's release until December 20, 2016. Warner Brothers. Interactive Entertainment will publish retail versions of Season 3 as part of a deal with Telltale for Batman that was released in August 2016. The physical edition is expected to release on February 7, 2017, featuring the first episode on disc and download codes to obtain all future episodes of the series. Topic: The Walking Dead Collection 2017. Announced in November 2017, The Walking Dead Collection includes all episodes from the first 3 seasons as well as 400 Days, and The Walking Dead, Michonne. The collection was released on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on December 5, 2017. The content of the first two seasons and 400 Days has been visually improved, reflecting on improvements Telltale has made in their engine since these seasons were first released, including high-definition texture mapping for all Survivor characters, improved dynamic lighting, and upgrading the game's graphics to use DirectX 11 over DirectX 9. The older games also use the user interface elements developed for the third season as to provide a consistent interface to the players. The Walking Dead Collection was nominated for the Tappan Zee Bridge Award for Best Remake at the New York Game Awards 2018. Topic: <laughs> Season 4, The Final Season, 2018. Announced during the July 2017 San Diego Comic Con, The Walking Dead, The Final Season, launched as four-episode series on August 14, 2018 for Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, with a Nintendo Switch version to launch later that year. Episodes are expected to launch roughly each month through December 2018. Clementine will return as the lead character, voiced by Hutchinson, as Telltale found that fans of the series were not pleased with how little interactivity there was with Clementine in A New Frontier. Telltale wanted to have the final season call back to what fans had praised about the first season, and knew they needed to make Clementine the focus. With this direction, Telltale decided to make this the final season for the Walking Dead series so that they can create a satisfactory conclusion to Clementine's story arc. For this purpose, Telltale brought back Gary Whitta, the writer for the first season and 400 Days content, to help close out Clementine's story. The story will follow from A New Frontier with Clementine having rescued AJ from the McCarroll Ranch, with a timeskip a few years ahead, where AJ is now a young boy. With diminishing resources amid the apocalypse, Clementine and AJ find the importance of staying with communities of vital importance, meeting other characters who have little memory of the time before the downfall of society. Clementine starts to teach AJ the essentials of survival as Lee had taught her. Telltale had initially considered writing a version of Clementine that had become more jaded, but found this was far too different from the established version of the character, and reworked her to be more sympathetic. The final season will use the updated version of the Telltale tool first introduced in Batman, the Telltale series, along with improvements in the visual style to approach the style used in the Walking Dead comic. Some scenes will feature unscripted. Zombies who may attack Clementine if the player is not careful, creating new freeform combat sequences, while other parts of the game will continue to use quick time events as from previous games. Despite the title The Final Season, Telltale does not rule out future The Walking Dead games. Creative director Kent Muddle said that the final season title represented the end of Clementine's journey from Telltale's view, but could revisit the franchise through other characters. Main cast and characters 
The Walking Dead video game series introduces new characters developed by Telltale for the games. Season 1 is based around Lee Everett voiced by Dave Finoy, a Georgia college professor who had been charged with murder, and was in the midst of being sent to prison at the start of the Walker outbreak. Lee escapes and encounters young Clementine voiced by Melissa Hutchison, hiding in her treehouse after her babysitter had turned and her parents not yet back from vacation. Lee becomes a protective figure to her to help reunite her with her parents. Within season 2 taking place about a year later, Clementine is now the central character, struggling to find a place in several survivor groups. Other major characters include Kenny, a fisherman who has suffered numerous losses of family and loved ones and has become emotionally unstable, Luke, a former entrepreneur who carries himself logically than emotionally, Jane, a young lone wolf woman that teaches Clementine the values of self-preservation that a person's life comes first than anybody else, Carver, a principal antagonist of season 2 that seeks out the group of survivors that Clementine has joined believing one carries his child, and AJ, the newborn infant that Carver seeks who Clementine takes care of after his mother succumbs to the elements. The fate of several characters are determinant based on the actions that the player has taken in previous episodes, or otherwise unresolved within the narrative of the games. As the game takes place within the comics universe, there have been some character crossovers with the series. Herschel Green, Sean Green, and Glenn Ree, three characters from the comic series, have appeared briefly in season one. Michonne, a prominent comic character, is featured as the playable character in the Michonne miniseries. Jesus makes an appearance in The New Frontier. Reception Sales <reception> 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 According to Telltale, the combined games in the series have sold over 50 million episodes worldwide by July 2017. Topic: <laughs> Season 1 and 400 Days. The Walking Dead has received critical acclaim, with reviewers giving praise for the harsh emotional tone, the characters, story and the resemblance to the original comic book, although criticizing the graphical glitches. The game received over 80 Game of the Year awards and many other awards. Episode 1 A New Day received positive reviews. Aggregating review websites GameRankings and Metacritic calculated scores of 85.14% and 84 one-hundredths, respectively, for the PlayStation 3 version, 83.87% and 79 one-hundredths for the Xbox 360 version, and 83.38% and 82 one-hundredths for the PC version. The game received various accolades including the IGN Editor's Choice, PC Gamer Editor's Choice. Xbox Editor's Choice Award, and the PlayStation Gold Award. Episode 2 Starved for Help received positive reviews. Game Rankings and Metacritic calculated scores of 86.53% and 84 one-hundredths, respectively, for the PC version, 86.26% and 84 one-hundredths for the Xbox 360 version, and 85.90% and 84 one-hundredths for the PlayStation 3 version. The game won the GameSpy E3 2012 award for Best Adventure Game. Episode 3 Long Road Ahead received positive reviews. Game Rankings and Metacritic calculated scores of 88.47% and 88 one-hundredths, respectively, for the Xbox 360 version, 86.11% and 87 one-hundredths for the PlayStation 3 version, and 85.41% and 85 one-hundredths for the PC version. IGN's Greg Miller gave the game a 9 out of 10, saying, It's a disturbing, depressing and entertaining entry in a journey that's been nothing short of excellent so far. GameSpot gave the game an 8.5, saying, The Walking Dead has passed the midway point of its series of five episodes with every indication that the game will keep getting better right through to its inevitably depressing and unsettling conclusion. MTV also gave it a positive review, saying, Telltale has created a series of wrenching, emotional decisions in the middle of a collection of not-too-hard puzzles in a visually impressive adaptation of the Robert Kirkman comic series with some nods to the TV show. Episode 4 Around Every Corner 
received positive reviews, but to a lesser extent than the previous episodes. Game Rankings and Metacritic calculated scores of 84.00% and 8100s, respectively, for the PC version, 82.50% and 8200s the Xbox 360 version, and 78.94% and 8100s for the PlayStation 3 version. Episode 5 No Time Left received critical acclaim. Game rankings and Metacritic calculated scores of 94.75% and 89.100s, respectively, for the PC version, 88.15% and 89.100s for the Xbox 360 version, and 87.75% and 88.100s for the PlayStation 3 version. 400 Days received positive reviews. Game rankings and Metacritic calculated scores of 78.20% and 78.100s, respectively, for the PlayStation 3 version, 78.00% and 78.100s for the PC version, and 76.88% and 8100s for the Xbox 360 version. Topic: <laughs> Season 2. The Walking Dead, Season 2 overall received generally positive reviews from critics earning praise for its atmosphere, tension, and Clementine's newly appointed role as the protagonist, but earned criticism for its lack of hubs and certain aspects of its storytelling. Episode 1 All That Remains received positive reviews. Aggregating review websites GameRankings and Metacritic gave the PlayStation 3 version 81.29% and 82.100s, the PC version 78.76% and 78.100s and the Xbox 360 version 77.50% and 8100s. Matt Liebel from GameZone gave the episode an 8.5.10, stating that it less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 is just a taste of what's to come a mere setup for the horror that awaits us in the final four episodes episode 2 a house divided received positive reviews Aggregating review websites Game Rankings and Metacritic gave the PlayStation 3 version 87.29% and 82.100s, the PC version 81.39% and 81.100s, and the Xbox 360 version 79.44% and 8100s. Mitch Dyer from IGN gave the episode a 9.5.10, saying it is one of the best episodes Telltale Games has ever made. Episode 3 In Harm's Way received positive reviews. Aggregating review websites Game Rankings and Metacritic gave the PlayStation 3 version 82.43% and 8100s, the Xbox 360 version 82.25% and 8200s, and the PC version 82.22% and 8100s. Episode 4 Amid the Ruins received mixed to positive reviews. Aggregating review websites Game Rankings and Metacritic gave the PlayStation 3 version 79.22% and 78.100s, the PC version 78.58% and 78.100s, and the Xbox 360 version 72.00% and 71.100s. Episode 5 No Going Back received positive reviews higher than its predecessor. Aggregating review websites Game Rankings and Metacritic gave the PlayStation 3 version 81.67% and 87.100s, the PC version 79.19% and 78.100s, and the Xbox 360 version 77.00% and 84.100s. Mitch Dyer of IGN gave the episode a 9.5.10, saying that the finale is an impressive and intelligent episode, and among Telltale Games' finest stories. Topic. Michonne The Walking Dead, Michonne received mixed to positive reviews from critics earning praise for its action sequences, atmosphere, and the character development of Michonne, but earned criticism for its story, side characters, short episode lengths, and graphical glitches. Topic. Season 3, A New Frontier The Walking Dead, A New Frontier received favorable reviews from critics with particular praise directed at the game's updated graphics, new cast of characters, action sequences, and overall new direction. 
However, the short episode lengths and the treatment of the season two endings were both subjects of criticism and Clementine's shift to a supporting character was met with a mixed response. 